Hello and welcome to the solution video for spicy question number 26. In this question we have three supermarkets, Sinsbury's, Cosda and Tanko. We're going to draw a Venn diagram to represent them. So we'll do a circle for Sinsbury's which is S, one for Cosda which is C, and one for Tanko which is T. Now we'll work through the information and see if we can use it to add information to the Venn diagram. So we'll start with this bit here, the number of students who visited all three of the supermarkets is a multiple of three. Now if they visited all three of the supermarkets, they must be right in the centre of the Venn diagram. And if it's a multiple of 3, we can write 3n in there since 3n will always be a multiple of 3 as long as n is an integer. Now let's look at this next bit. All students who visited Sinsbury's and Cosda also visited Tanko. That means there are no students who visited Sinsbury's and Cosda only. So in that part of the diagram we can place a 0. Half of the students who visited Cosda and Tanko also visited Sinsbury's. So if we look at the section which represents Cosda and Tanko, half of those students also visited Sinsbury's. Now we know the half of those students that visited Sinsbury's, they visited all of the supermarkets, so that's the 3n here. This means the other section is also 3n. Next we've got 6 sevenths of the students who visited Cosda also visited another supermarket. Now if we look at the Cosda circle and look at the ones that visited at least one other supermarket, that's these ones here. Altogether that's 6n. Then the whole circle must be equal to 7n. Since we've got 6n so far, we just need one more n, so the final section in the Cosda circle must be n. Next we're told that 20 students visited Sinsbury's and Tanko. If we look at the overlap between s and t, we can see there's already a 3n in one of the sections. Both of the sections must combine to make 20, so if we already have 3n in one of them, the other one must be 20 minus 3n. Next we're told that 60 students visited Tanko. This means the whole of the Tanko circle must add up to make 60. Now we already have most of the parts of this circle, we've got all of these here, and if you add up those you get 20 plus 3n. So the remaining section must be 60 take away this, so 60 take away 20 take away 3n, which is 40 take away 3n. Now we're told the number of students who visited Sinsbury's is the same as the number who visited both Cosda and Tanko. The number who visited Cosda and Tanko is 3n and 3n, so that makes 6n, so the whole of the Sinsbury circle must add up to make 6n. So in the same way we did with the Tanko circle, we're going to do 6n take away all of the parts we can see. So in the same way we did with the Tanko circle, we're going to do 6n take away all of the other sections. So 6n take away 3n, take away 20 take away 3n, and also take away 0 obviously, but that won't change anything. If you simplify this, you end up with this section as 6n take away 20. Now we're told the number of students who visited none of the supermarkets is equal to the product of the number who visited Sinsbury's and the number who visited Cosda. If we add up those who visited Sinsbury's we get 6n, and if we add up those who visited Cosda we get 7n. So those that visited none of the supermarkets is 6n times 7n, which is 42n squared. So we can add that to the outside of the Venn diagram. Now right at the start of the question we were told there are 740 students in total. So if we add together all of these sections of the Venn diagram, it should equal 720. So if we add up all of the parts that we've written down, we get this, which simplifies to 42n squared plus 7n plus 40, and this must equal 740. We now have a quadratic equation to solve. We can take away 740 from both sides. This will give you 42n squared plus 7n minus 700 equals 0. This quadratic has a common factor of 7, so if we divide both sides by 7, you get 6n squared plus n minus 100 equals 0. This quadratic will factorise, it gives you 6n plus 25 and n take away 4 equals 0, and that gives you two solutions. Now the first of those solutions would be negative, so we can disregard that and just look at the second one. The second one would be n equals 4. So we've now found the value of n. If we substitute n into all parts of the Venn diagram, instead of having algebra, we'll have numbers. And if you do that, you'll end up with these. We can now go and answer the question. The question says we've got two students from the school are selected at random, and what's the probability they only visited Tanko? Now the section for only Tanko is this one here, so there's 28 students. This means the probability the first one visited only Tanko is 28 out of the total number of students, which is 740, and for the second student there'll only be 27 now, and a total of 739. We multiply these probabilities, and it says round your answer to four significant figures, and you should get a decimal of 0 0.0001382.
Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. Check out the one I think you should watch next and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.